Hey guys, Dan Buchan here. So, a lot of people have been asking me how to pick the right niche for their first Shopify store. Now, this is something I didn't go over in my Shopify A to Z series, but it's a really, really great opportunity for me to go ahead and go over it now. So, in this video, I'm actually going to go ahead, I'm going to show you two separate methods to, um, to finding, you know, that perfect niche. Now, the first method is literally doing it straight through AliExpress. Now, my, my, um, my opinion is that, you know, you can really sell any niche. So basically no niche is too saturated for you to get into. So as long as A you're creative and B you get your um you get your offer in front of the right audience. So what do I mean by creative? So say you have um you know so say the dog niche, right? That's an extremely popular and um you know saturated niche. So how would you go ahead and sell something like, you know, a dog paw necklace? So you would you would go ahead and you have to be creative. So say you would go ahead and do something like this. So you would um you would create like a t-shirt, right? With a funny dog slogan or a funny dog image. And then what you would do is you would sell that t-shirt as the um, you know, um what's it called? You would sell that t-shirt on the front end and then you would go ahead and you would uh, upsell the uh, the dog t the dog um, necklace or the dog bracelet or whatever it is on the back end, right? So that's another really great creative way to go ahead and actually make more profit and to get into you know one of those saturated niches. So again, it would be to go ahead and create a print on demand product and then on the back end sell them you know your AliExpress jewelry items or your AliExpress items, whatever it might be. So real quick, let me go ahead and let me show you how I used to you know when I was running 10, 20 different you know, AliExpress stores, how I used to go and find the different niches for myself to get into. So it's actually very, very simple. So what I would do, I was, I would literally come here, go onto AliExpress.com and you see it right now I'm on the, uh, you know, main page on the dashboard, whatever this is. And I would just literally scroll through the category. So first I would go ahead and actually I wouldn't even press see all. I would literally go right from this section right here because I feel like it's the most useful and you know, I'm a very big visual guy. So I like the way this is laid out the best. So literally, I would just start going down the categories and then I would go down the subcategories and then further down the sub subcategory so let me show you exactly how that would work so first I would go ahead and I would find a category I would get into so say it'd be something like um, home and garden right well we already did that in the previous video but let me just go ahead and let me do this again so again it'd be something like home and garden right so then I would go ahead and I would look at you know the subcategories so we have kitchen dining and bar home decor, home textiles, arts and crafts, festive and party supplies, and pet products, right? So then I would go ahead and I would actually pick a subcategory. So say for this instance, I would go ahead and do home decor, right? Then what we can do is we can go and do something from one of these um, categories. And again, this is extremely niched down, which is, you know, the best part. And it will really help you create, you know, that authority niche store that you're trying to create. So, you know, we would go ahead and let's do something like painting and calligraphy right so again we would come in here and we would just go ahead and do orders right we would sort this by the most orders and really that's it so that's how we would go ahead and find the niche and find the products in that niche to sell so you know obviously I wouldn't really go for paintings as it's not really my forte but I would go ahead and if I don't like what I see I would really just go back to the main page and repeat the process so let's go ahead and let's do this a couple more times right so next we can go ahead and we can go let's do auto automobiles and motorcycles right so you see we have auto replacement parts, car electronics, motorcycle accessories and parts. Let's go ahead and do motorcycle accessories, right? So from here, we're going to go ahead and just scroll down the subcategories and see what kind of stuff they have. So one thing that I see right here is gloves, right? Right away. So um, boom. So now we have a whole category of just motorcycle gloves. So what if you went ahead and you created a motorcycle store, right? And even niche down further into a motorcycle glove store. In fact, you know, something very unique you'd be able to do is create um, a one product store with just, you know, a motorcycle glove or something and then go ahead. And then again, you would be able to sell, you know, motorcycle jewelry or motorcycle t-shirts or something like that on the back end. So, you know, right away we see we have a bunch of options, but again, you know, this is not really my forte. So let's go ahead and let's look at a couple more. So next we have something like home improvement, right? So this is a very, very, um, you know, profitable niche. A lot of people like home improvement. That's actually fairly easy to target. So let's go ahead and let's check out again the subcategories that they have. So they have tools, home appliances, lights and lighting, outdoor lighting, LED lighting, indoor lighting, whatever. So we can actually go ahead into tools and let's go ahead and do, let's do hand tools. Let's see what they got here. So we can go into orders 
and let's go ahead and sort this by grid and okay cool so you see they have like this exacto knife thing they have this um card knife wallet or yeah knife card whatever this is um you know they have this multi wallet tool uh multi tool wallet thing i don't know what are they called multi tool wallet cards i guess um you know they have these pocket knives here they have these um whatever wires cutters they have again another wire cutter um, so again, you can just see how, uh, you know, how niche down you can really get just by going through AliExpress and going to the categories. You see like something like this would be really cool and you see it's a CSGO product. So again, you'd be able to um, target the people who are interested in uh, CSGO. So again, this is very, very easy to do. Um, you know, more oftentimes than not, I will go for a product that's a little bit more easy to target as these aren't, you know, the easiest, the, the examples that I've showed you. So let's go ahead and let's do something like this. So we can go and do auto replacement parts, right? And let's see, we have car lights, engines and comp components, exhaust, air intake, wheels, rims, accessories. Let's go with wheels, rims, accessories, right? Um, so again, you can actually even go ahead and go down further and you can do wheels and accessories and rims and accessories. But let's go ahead and sort this by order and see what we get. So we get these pressure indicators, which can be really useful. Um, so we get these tire caps. Right, so we're not really seeing anything too crazy here. So, I mean, maybe this method has died down a little bit. I remember when I was doing it, I used to find really, really great products seemingly, you know, instantly. So, you know, I'm having a little bit of issue struggling right now finding the best products that I can. But, you know, you know, you can definitely dedicate a little bit of time to this. You know, I spent maybe 10 minutes so far just looking at this. And um, it's so, so far, you know, I have the method down. It's really just about finding that right niche and finding the right products for you and your store. Um, so, you know, we have bags and shoes, not really too familiar with those. So let's go ahead and do, let's see babies, right? So, you know, some a really great tip actually is to go ahead and, you know, they have a lot of products, but the best ones would be baby accessories, right? Because that's not clothes. That's more something like this where, you know, you have, um, what's it called? Like drool bibs, you have um, these little hats. So let's see what else they have in the uh, baby accessory niche. So you know they have this I Heart Mama hat, which is really really cute, and I feel would sell exceptionally well, especially to uh, you know brand new moms who are still super um, you know super into their kid. I'm not saying that like older moms don't, are, are less into their kid, but you know for new brand new moms it's very very exciting. It's their first kid. You know they want to buy them all the cool stuff. You know they see this. This looks really really cute. I know personally if I were a female and a brand new mom, I would probably buy this for my child. Um, moving on, you know, we have this cute, uh, pom-pom hat for the girls. Um, you know, you have this silicone bib, you have, um, let's see what else, you know, you have this cute little headband, bandana thing for girls. Again, the I Heart Mama hat. Um, let's see this cute one with the flower on the side. That's really cool. Um, uh, then you have these warm ones, but this doesn't have e-packet. This one's really cute and funny. The, uh, the adorable rabbit hat. And then these are really cool as well. So again, you'd be able to sell, you see, so this would be a really, really great niche to get into because you can tell already it's a lot of cute, you know, novelty products that you'd be able to go ahead and sell exceptionally well. Um, again, right here, you have newborn photography props, which is a really, really cool and interesting and unique niche to get into. Um... As well as something like this, which is uh, looks like it comes with a hat and a scarf, which is really cool as well. So you can see again just how powerful it is just to segment AliExpress products through their you know native categories. Um, again, you know just through going through that, we literally just found the baby niche and the baby accessory niche, which is which is really really profitable and really great. Um, you know you can go ahead and then do something like consumer electro electronics. Um, so we can do like say accessories and parts, right? Memory cards, digital cables, camera bags. So what if we did camera bags? Let's see what we can do here. So orders, um, let's go ahead and do top. So perfect, so right here. So right, this $20 camera bag with free shipping, you can go ahead and you can sell this to people who have Canon cameras or whatever. And you could probably sell this for around 60 bucks. You know, that's a nice $40 profit per piece, which I would consider again, one of those high ticket items. And again, you would definitely be able to get the cost down. Say you were to go to, um, you know, say you were to prove that this that this niche is viable, that it sells well, you'd be able to go ahead and go on Alibaba and get this for even cheaper at a bulk price. 
um, you know, which is something which is more along the lines of building a long term sustainable business, which, you know, I understand not everybody's into a lot of people are just looking for some part time, you know, extra income, which is totally understandable and fine. But if you are looking for, a, you know, a long term sustainable business, I would definitely recommend thinking long term and thinking where you can really move with the products. Um, but again, you know, we have these really cool products like we have this um, adjustable body harness, which I can assume is for, you know, for GoPros, something similar to that. And, you know, this is 339 I know in stores, most likely this is like 1999 or even more, you know, because GoPro products go for a lot, as well as this, you know, head mount. You know, you got these cool, uh, you know, branded um, camera straps. You have these lens protectors and other uh, green backpack instead of the orange ones. So you have a couple color choices. Right, you have this floaty, it looks like, yeah, floaty, um, what's it called? GoPro handle, which is really, really cool. And again, this is $3. You can sell this for $20, make 17 profit. You can sell this for $30, make 27 profit. You know, it's all about the perceived value and really how you target or how you market your product. Um, so again, this is just one way of finding, you know, the right niche, the right product category to get into, and that's using AliExpress. Now, I actually went ahead and I compiled for the second category, for the second method, I compiled the list of one of the 101 hottest niches of 2017. Now, this is a good mix of um, you know niches that did extremely well for me in 2016 and niches that I'm going to go ahead and get into in 2017. So again, it's a very healthy mix, and I just want to go ahead. I want to scroll down these, just show you exactly you know what kind of niches are in here. So we have something like you know quit smoking, which is a really really big niche, and it's growing even more. Um, you know, we have gaming, which is a huge niche in 2016 we have skiing and snowboarding which I predict will be huge in 2017 as well as skateboarding so you see a lot of this is a lot of sports then we have you know dogs cats which were huge in 2016 as well as 2015 and you know horses which I haven't seen too much in 2016 but I'm definitely gonna try to get into in 2017 as well as you know fishing cows ducks deer pigs you know all these multiple farm animals that you'd be able to target and actually reach a demographic that you have not able to before you know with your regular cat and dogs niche um you know then we have stuff like cheerleading which is great you have archery paintball graffiti hiking um you know all great niches to target if you know how to target these niches which um you know i'm sure most of you do if you don't drop a comment i'll go ahead i'll explain exactly how um so if you want to actually go ahead you want to access this list just go ahead and follow the link in the bio so you can um again just access this list for yourself and you have it you know you have the full list of 101 niches that you can go ahead and target in 2017. so um you know without further ado guys thank you so much for watching uh, I wish you all the best of luck, and again, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just drop a comment, and if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave me a like, comment, you know, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and um, I will see all of you in the next video.